Hello, I thought I'd make a quick vlog, and today I want to report my men. They haven't paid my, we have paid her bills. They, it's, there are so many people working against her. They're not showing up as paid. People have hacked her accounts, but her utilities will not be turned off. What about my AT&T phone? Okay, yes. That is a constant battle, but we are going to pay the bill. Okay, let's hope so. Um, because I like the service. Don't get me wrong, I like AT&T service. That's why I have them for internet and, uh, and phone. But what's going on? I don't know. Okay, AT&T is quality service. And, but your accounts have been hacked. Okay, yes, they're quality. That's why that's why I signed up for them. Anyway, uh, so that's that. And then another thing. Here's how my men let me down. My keys are have just kind of disappeared, and I looked everywhere for them since Friday night, and I still haven't found them. So why haven't they guided me to my keys? Or put them somewhere I can find them because we are blocked. Marissa's keys were stolen. They were, they were not misplaced. They were stolen. So that's why Marissa cannot find her key. But we will give her her key ba keys back as soon as we can. Let's hope so because I had a little side gig this weekend and I couldn't do it and I might lose my side gig. And you will not lose your side gig. You will not lose it. The people who are in charge there understand that your keys were stolen, that you didn't misplace them. Oh, okay. That's according to my men, right? I don't trust them anymore. Okay. We will do everything to regain Marissa's trust. Okay, okay, yes, they're good guys. They're good guys. It's just a couple things that are upsetting me. They've been very good to me. And they provide excellent security and all of that. And I'm saying it, Marissa. So, and they keep me company too. You know, they talk to me. So, I'm all alone. It's nice to have someone to talk to every once in a while. Yeah. And they're helping me with the plans and all of that. So I can't really complain. It's those two things that they affect my life. So, and they will be hand, they will be taken care of. Okay. Okay, so anyway, um I just I uh you know I did talk yesterday about uh, or speak yesterday about uh, mental disorders, you know, I don't know all of them, but I do know that, um, I don't know, I mean, I just feel like they gave me this one, they gave me that one, they gave me this one, and I've had quite a few that I've had to recover from, and, um, but I don't know what it's like for each individual, because I'm sure that's a personal thing. You know, and it is a very personal thing. There are commonalities among people with mental disorders, but it is a personal thing. Yes, and um, so, you know, if you are suffering, I'm, you know, I'm going to say it again. I know, poor baby, poor baby. I'm saying it, poor baby, because it's like something that's so unfair you know, you can get um, a broken, you can have a broken leg or you can have a manageable disease, but your mental state really is what drives everything. You know, you, ha you have to pay your bills, you have to um, find a place to live, you have to get a job if you want and all that. So, you know, and when you have mental disorders, that may be impinged upon. Not always, but for some, for, for most, for most. And I do feel bad for you. 
You know, I wouldn't have made it without my men and my family. There's no way I could have made, well, Jesus, actually, without Jesus. But Jesus put my family there. Jesus put my men there. And that's why I made it. And I prayed to him and I asked for prayers. And I just trusted and had faith. So, But I understand. I understand. There may be a time in your life, and it might be right now, where you reject Jesus. So, you know, we need to pray for all people with mental disorders. I will, and my men will. And we are asking that everyone else do the same. Okay. Anyway, uh, so that's that. The little complaining, a little bit about mental illness, and what else? You know, I am stuck this weekend without my gig. I have zero money for the week. I have no food except a loaf of bread and two uh, Raymond noodles. And we'll see. I don't know. I'm going to have to trust. I'm calling tomorrow to see if I can find... Well, I'm not going to say it. I'm not allowed to say my plan. So I won't say my plan. But I'm going to see if I can handle this. And... Uh, that's it. That's it. I just, you know, I, I come on here and I talk about my life and my problems and things like that. And I really do apologize because, you know, this is where I vent. This is where I get things off my chest. And this is where, you know, I can find a place to... Um, to say what's really going on without people telling me, oh, no, well, that's not true. It's a lie. What do you mean you're a genius? What do you mean uh, Jesus is helping you? What do you mean you have a plan to change the world? What do you, I mean, everything just gets shot down by people around me. Everything. You know, my men support me. And they understand and they tell me yes. But when I when it comes to just saying things, this is the place I go to. So I apologize if it comes off as complaining or whining or any of that. I do apologize, but this is where I have to go. This is the only place I have to go. All right. And on that note, I'm going to end this vlog. And I'm going to say I hope everybody watching... Has a great evening tonight and a great day tomorrow and things go your way. All right, bye.